Beautiful Sagittarius peeps. What's going on, everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your mid February 2022 tarot reading. As always, readings here are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message. And if you want to check out my official social medias, you're more than welcome to. That's going to be linked down in the description below. But Sagittarius, let's see what we got going on, baby. Hopefully, we're looking at a pretty fantastic second half of your month, starting out with the current energies here for Sag. What current energies are coming in here for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We do have here a page of wands that jumped out, so I'll take that for you. What current energies do we got coming in here for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout mid-February 2022. Let's go ahead and get ourselves two more cards and we'll see what's up. We also got here the Sun card, and lastly, we have here the Lovers. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what we got going on. Page of Wands here, the Sun card, the Lovers, you're feeling very connected to something that makes you happy. I like that for you. For a few of you, this can be love related. You might be recently um, involved in a relationship. Maybe you took that next step. You got into a committed relationship with somebody. If that's the case, congratulations to you. I definitely see a lot of happiness with that partner. But if we're not talking about love and romance, we definitely are talking about just genuinely being happy because there's something in your life fulfilling you. There's something in your life bringing in lots of happiness here. So I like seeing that for you guys coming into your mid-February. You know, Page of Wands is something you're heavily taking interest in, whether it's a person, place, or thing. And with the Sun card to the Lover's card, you feel incredibly connected to it. And it's something that is fulfilling and positive and genuinely makes you happy. So we're off to a pretty great start coming into the second half of the month here. Uh, let's go ahead and see what energies you're dealing with, all right? What energies are Sagittarius going to be dealing with? Coming into mid-February 2022, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what energies would Sag be dealing with? And what do we got? We got here the Ten of Swords, we got here the Seven of Swords, we got here the Queen of Cups, and we have here the Justice. Ooh, I like that Justice card. That one spoke to me the most. I definitely feel like the Justice card in this situation is representing you getting exactly what it is that you deserve. So it feels to me like the Wheel, even though the Wheel of Fortune isn't here, <laughs> It feels to me like the wheels turning in your favor. The Justice card is getting the good stuff that you deserve after dealing with a Seven of Swords and Ten of Swords like situation, okay? Based upon the energies you're dealing with in mid-February, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, it's the energy of cutting out something pretty deceptive, something pretty ugly over here. Maybe this is about getting uh, you know, rid of a job that potentially was really, really negative and toxic. Maybe it's about removing a really toxic friend or a really toxic romantic partner, you know? At the end of the day though, something here that was not very healthy for you on a mental, emotional, and spiritual level is being removed. And as that's being removed, you get to shift your focus here to other things, okay? But I feel like you're also being rewarded. I don't know why this Justice card keeps sticking out to me, guys. Like, you're being rewarded, you know? This is the good things now coming to you after all the things you've endured, all right? If you wanna say karma, you can call it karma. I mean, at the end of the day, karma means action. Actions have consequences. So, for the positive deeds you've done, here comes in a positive return. You see what I'm saying here, Sag? And with that Queen of Cups, you're definitely in a good place emotionally after getting rid of some toxins here. Tell me about these toxins. What did Sagittarius move here in regards to what they're dealing with in mid-February. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. What is it here that Sagittarius has removed? We got here the Nine of Cups. We got here the Ten of Pentacles. We got here the Two of Wands. I had to make a choice between my happiness and my sovereignty, you know? It's not even a choice between those two things. It's like I had to make a choice for my happiness and for my sovereignty is what I'm hearing for you, okay? Nine of Cups, that's the energy of self-fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles, it's the energy of the ultimate stability. But Two of Wands, you were caught in a situation. Who was this Ten of Swords for Sagittarius? And what do we got? We got here the Death card. Could have been a Scorpio in your life, possibly. That was very toxic for you. But nonetheless, though, someone who's changed is what's showing up here for you. So Sagittarius, based upon what you're dealing with, it feels to me like you were dealing with a person who's changed over time. People change, you change, everybody changes on a daily basis, right? We all change each and every single day. But some people change for the best, other people change for the worst. I feel like in this current situation, somebody changed in a manner of that you just couldn't resonate with them anymore. They changed for the worst, if you would, and it was something that you just could not deal with. It was like, I really don't enjoy this person anymore. 
or if it was your job that changed, I really don't enjoy this job anymore. If it's a hobby, passion, so on and so forth, you know, you guys get the gist of the situation. So something here changed dramas uh, dramatically and drastically. I try to combine those two words. I don't know if you guys caught that. I, <laughs> I wanted to say drastically and dramatically, so I went dramatically, you know? That's a cool word. So yeah, things changed dramatically, if you will. All right, Sagittarian? And uh, throughout this process, I just feel like you are not resonating with it at all. Two of Wands, I had to make a choice here. Do I stay stuck in a situation that I'm not happy with, especially if it's a person, place, or thing that's changed for the worst, or do I focus on my sovereignty and my happiness, right? So you had to make that call there. And obviously what was more important to you was your happiness, your sovereignty, your free will to be in a good place. You don't wanna be somewhere you don't have to be, right? So you made that choice here to walk away from something that turned into a pretty toxic or unhealthy or just genuinely emotionally overbearing situation. So as far as what you're dealing with here, it feels to me like you're about to get a really positive return as you're removing the toxins in your life. Tell me about this justice card, man. It keeps speaking to me all throughout this reading. Why do we got the justice showing up over here for Sag? Tell me what these positive returns are for Sagittarius, please. And what do we have? We have here the Page of Cups. And then we have here the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. By making the decision, Sagittarian, the conscious decision to have better for yourself, therefore, better things will align to you. What does this mean? Well, Sagittarius, by choosing to remove yourself from people that don't deserve you, situations that don't deserve you, what you're doing right then and there is you're actively showing the universe that you deserve better. And by showing the universe that you deserve that and by taking action, that's essentially what's going to be manifesting a positive return in your life. You literally said to the universe by taking action, cutting something out, I deserve the best. And therefore the universe says, Sagittarius, I shall grant you the best because you acknowledge that that's what you deserve. And if that's what you deserve, that's what you will align with. Okay. So that's what I feel here for you. I think that by taking the action of cutting out something in mid February, that's really unhealthy for you is what's actually going to end up having you attract positive things. Now, if you had to cut off a toxic person, you could be coming into alignment with a brand new person. If you had to cut off a toxic job, guess what, Sag? The fruits of your labor are coming towards you. You're going to get a better job. You know, it's that energy of getting a massive upgrade from where you've been because you know you deserved better. So that's pretty cool to see the justice card getting in those positive returns. Okay. Could be a better job for a few of you, could be a better person, could be a better relationship coming in for some of you guys as well. I mean, remember, looking at the beginning of the reading, you had Page of Wands, Sun card, Lovers, you know, these three cards that were coming out in the beginning of the reading were, you know, talking about feeling incredibly happy with something you're connected with. You know, there's something here you're interested in, things are going well, you vibe with it, you connect with it, you're really happy that you have something going good in your life. So maybe it's that new job you've been wanting, maybe it's a new relationship after you let go of the old one, maybe it's a really great friend you're meeting in this mid-month mark, or maybe it's even an awesome new hobby. Who freaking knows, but something super fulfilling is coming in here towards you, and I like it a lot for you. Let's go ahead and see where things are going for Sagittarius. Where are things going for Sagittarius here throughout mid-February 2022? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-February 2022. And what do we got? We got here the Ace of Cups. I love that for you. Definitely emotional fulfillment. I mean, if you're dealing with a lover, you could be falling in love. We also got here a Four of Cups. We also have here a Three of Pentacles and then a Three of Wands. So Sagittarius, immediately when I saw the Three of Wands, it kind of felt like this is what you've been waiting for. I don't know why that's immediately what popped up in my head, but it said this is what you've been waiting for. Now we have here the Ace of Cups to the Four of Cups. You've really limited yourself from what was preventing you to be happy. You know, you're in a position of time right now where you're ignoring everything that doesn't add to your happiness. But the three of pentacles too is awesome because you're working on yourself and you're working on your happiness, guys. So based upon where things are going, I definitely feel like you're going to have a lot of love, compassion, and great energy to bring to the table coming into mid-February. That Ace of Cups is just being in a good place emotionally. And when you're in a good place emotionally, you're in a good mood. It's like a whole chain reaction. When you're in a good mood, you're hanging out with good people. When you're with good people and you're having a good time, you're creating good vibrations. You know, there's going to be like a chain reaction here of positivity 
positivity is what it's feeling to me coming into your mid half and with the four of cups to the three of pentacles this is the energy right now guys of having nothing tear you down nothing is gonna fuck with your chi sagittarius you're gonna be in a pretty high vibration this second half of the month so three of pentacles you're actively working in ways to make your life better you're actively working on yourself you're actively improving and you have something good right in front of you guys whether it's a new relationship this month whether it's a new job whether it's that new hobby that's making you fulfilled whether it's new friendships there is something really good here this month that's like the main focal point of the reading that you're really enjoying so on top of all that it makes your month all the more better so it feels to me like honestly everything you've been waiting for is kind of coming in for you now and honestly, the reason why most of the things you've wanted are coming in is because you stopped waiting for it. You know, one of the greatest things that I tell people all the time is that it's so important to never wait for things to just magically happen. If you want something, you got to take action to get it. You know, for example, if you want a new job, you can't wait for a random job opportunity to appear. You got to take initiative to apply to new types of jobs, right? For example, let's say you currently work at Walmart and you really want this job at Best Buy, right? You want to get into Geek Squad. If you want to get into Geek squad at Best Buy, you got to be willing to go to Best Buy, ask for a job interview, show them what you got, let them know that you're good at dealing with computers, TV, so on and so forth. You got to make sure you take the action to get yourself there. You know, working at Walmart and Best Buy, kind of two different things, a little bit of similarities, but two different things, especially if you want to be in the geek squad department. So at the end of the day, you know, a random job opportunity is not just going to fall in your lap if you take zero initiative. So keep that in mind. Anytime we're waiting, we're not manifesting or creating. Remember that and keep that quote in your head. Every time that we are taking action, we're making shit happen, okay? So keep those points in your mind because action is so important in making your life go forward and also in manifesting the things that you want, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and see what your spirit guides have to say for your second half of February. Keep in mind during this portion of the reading, Whatever comes up from your guides could resonate to anything we just talked about, or it could be a completely random message. So what do uh, the guides have to say? Are there any dire or important messages coming in from Sagittarian spirit guides throughout mid-February 2022? First card out, we got here the Empress. I love that for you. Next card out, we have here the Hermit. And then let's get one more card. We have here the Six of Swords. Wonderful. So Sagittarius, as far as what I'm seeing from your guides, the Empress, the Hermit, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is of course, because when anytime you see the Empress card, the Empress is about outgrowing a situation, but also the Empress is about seeing the beauty within you, seeing your value, seeing your worthiness. I feel like with the Empress showing up in this situation, it's appropriate. Your spirit guides are trying to say to you, you know that you deserve the best. And you know that when things change for the worst, it doesn't mean that you need to continue to stay there. No matter how much effort you've put into that situation, no matter how long you've been around somebody or been involved in something, if something is not in your highest of good, it doesn't need to be a part of your life. I think that that's the realization many of you have gone through. Because keep in mind, you know, when I was looking at what you were dealing with, you were dealing with walking away from something that's turned sour. You were dealing with walking away from something that's turned into a very unfortunate situation, whether that was a romantic relationship, whether that was a friendship, whether it was, you know, a job that turned really, really toxic. At the end of the day, no matter how much you put into that person, that job, that situation, if it's no longer aligning with you, you don't have to be loyal to something because you put a big investment into it. I think that that's one of the biggest things that you're becoming enlightened to in this second half of the month because the hermit card is also a card that bears enlightenment right the hermit is kind of like merlin right merlin is the wisest so with this energy showing up for you your guides are trying to kind of reinforce to you don't feel like you have an obligation to anything you've been invested into sagittarius because if the vibe does not align with you you do not need to be there it doesn't matter for example if you've worked at a job for 10 years and busted your ass there if that job just doesn't align with you anymore, if that job just doesn't serve you anymore, you have every right to move on to where you want to go, to where your happy place would be, where your ideal job would be. Same thing applies with a relationship. If you're involved with somebody for five years and you've been together for a long time, but suddenly they've changed, they're not the person you fell in love with, you're not obligated to stay with them anymore if they don't align 
with your highest of good, if they don't align with what you want anymore. So I definitely feel like a big lesson that's kind of being reinforced from your guides here is don't feel like you have to be obligated to things just because you put blood, sweat, tears, time, and energy and investment into it. Acknowledge that the moment that anything just doesn't align with you anymore, you have all the right to move on from it and go to where you feel like you resonate. Okay, so keep that all in mind here, Sagittarius, and that's exactly what the Six of Swords is about. It's about going to your destination, going to what feels right for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at your overall outcome here, though, for your mid-month. What's going to be the overall outcome here for Team Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus during mid-February 2022. What is going to be the overall outcome here for Sag? And what do we got? We got here the Six of Pentacles. That's awesome. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. It's about getting everything that you deserve. And that is what your month is looking like, guys. Whatever is meant to be in alignment with me will be in alignment with me. Whatever's not will simply not. It is what it is, you know? And I definitely feel once again, going back to that damn justice card, it's going to be a month full of justice for you. You're going to be getting what you deserve, what's rightfully yours, you know? If you know that you deserve a better job, let's get a better job, okay? If you know you deserve a better relationship, here comes a better relationship. If you deserve better friends, here come better friends, okay? I feel like I'm on Oprah right now. You get a car, he gets a car, everybody gets a damn car, you know? This is the vibe coming in for you right now, Sagittarian. You get what you deserve. And it's not one of those negative connotations where you say, you get what you deserve, okay? No, you get what you deserve in a good way because you're deserving of simply the best. So guys, something good here is definitely coming in, which is going to boost your vibe at the beginning of your second half of the month. So I'm not sure what that is. You know, maybe you find a friend who's really lovely. Maybe you find a new relationship. Maybe you are just in a place where you feel super connected to the work you're doing and you're super happy dappy. Like I said, there's a lot of positivity coming in in the beginning of the month. There's something here you're super connected with, you're really interested in. It's going in a good direction. And that's only going to keep boosting your positivity that you're going to be experiencing in the second half of the month especially what's going to help you there too is removing whatever toxic thing was in your life once that's removed you're going to be feeling even better and most importantly guys you're going to be on a path of this recognition that i don't need to be obligated to things or feel a sense of obligation to things because i put so much investment into it if something just doesn't resonate with me anymore i can feel free to live my life without having to have that hold me down so you're releasing a burden because in a way, Sag, it kind of feels like you felt like you had an obligation to something because you put so much into it. But if it's not matching your vibe anymore, it's not matching your vibe. So you're going to be feeling very free and very liberated while you're now living a life of having the things that actually resonate with you. OK. All right, Sagittarian. I like this reading a lot for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this message, definitely feel free to drop a like and comment below. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. I would appreciate that as well. If this one wasn't your story, no worries, guys. I'm always going to be uploading tons of more videos to the channel. So feel free to tune in next time or check out any other amazing tarot readers on the YouTube platform. But Sag, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a lovely rest of your February and I will catch you all in the next video. Much love to my Sagittarius and have yourselves a good one. Peace.